profile on Thinkorswim. Hey, welcome back YouTube. My name is Mike Swartz and today I'm going to share with you guys how to set up your profiles on Thinkorswim. Now I'm going to show you guys the settings that I use when I, when I day trade during the Asia session. Now, if you wanna join my live streams where I'm trading live during the Asia session, simply click the subscribe button down below, turn on the bell notifications. And if you don't trust YouTube to suggest my videos out to you guys or the live streams, you can also click on the link in the description box down below where it says free live streams. Click on that because I send emails out 30 minutes to an hour before each live stream. And I stream live Monday through Thursday at 8.45 p.m. So I'd love to see you there. Now, normally when I'm trading, I'm not using Thinkorswim in terms of my futures trading, but I can still show you how to use similar profile settings that I use on NinjaTrader. Now, I do think NinjaTrader's profiles are a bit better. Maybe I'm a little bit biased because I use NinjaTrader each day, but there are a couple features that I can't find a way to do in Thinkorswim. But without no further ado, let's jump into the charts and I'm gonna show you how to set up those volume profile charts. All right, so here we are. We're looking at a blank chart on Thinkorswim, on the Thinkorswim platform. And I'm gonna share with you guys how to install the volume profile indicator and the settings that I currently use. Now, there are some differences from the one I use on NinjaTrader, like on NinjaTrader, the volume profile isn't gonna go from the beginning of the day all the way to the end meaning that the profile is just gonna build over here. On Thinkorswim, it's gonna build out completely. And also, there's not a way on the TOS platform to you know, leave the POC plotting out indefinitely and as a naked POC until it's tested. But again, there's workarounds for that where we can, we'll just have to micromanage that. And again, I go over all the naked POC levels during the live streams, Monday through Thursday. So if you guys wanna join me on there, again, just hit the subscribe button up above, and that way you guys can join me during my next live stream. All right, so the next, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna to go to studies. Now there's two different ways we can do it. My preferred way would be just go to edit study. And you might say, Mike, you don't have any studies on there. Yeah, but it makes it real easy, right? I can just go here to, and type in volume and then pro, boom, volume profile is gonna come up. Now, if you don't wanna go that method, all right, there is another way. You can go right over here to studies, go to add study, and then you gotta go to all, and then you gotta scroll all the way down here to the second V, come over here like this, and click on volume profile. Both of them are gonna take you exactly the same. Now, once you get the volume profile on your chart, you're gonna say, wow, this is, this is awful weird, all right? How come this volume profile is here, but where's all the other ones for each individual day? Well, there's a couple changes that we need to make. All right, so we're gonna come over here to studies and we're gonna go over here to edit study, click the little wheel right here. And here's some things that we need to change. One of the things I want you guys to see, if you look in this profile, see this black line that's like a gap in between the profile? I do not wanna see that. So to get rid of that, I'm gonna click on tick size and I want you guys to see what happens when we, when, once we change that to tick size. Boom, now the profile looks a lot more well-defined like we wanna see. All right, now we're gonna go back into settings and there's a few more settings that we need to change. Time per profile, we're gonna change that to day and we're gonna leave this at one. This means we're, it's gonna build a profile for each individual day. Do we wanna see on expansion? No, on expansion means on the right side of the chart. I do not wanna see the profile there. So we're gonna put no for on expansion. Show point of control. Yes, I wanna see the point of control. Show value area. Yes, I wanna see value area. Now this is gonna be another one that I changed. So Thinkorswim has this at 70%. I actually set this down to 68% for the value area percentage. Opacity, I like to keep it kind of light so we can still see the price candles. Then now, under POC right here, you wanna make sure you have all three of these um, boxes checked. We're gonna change the color to yellow. Profile high, when we click right here, we, we do not wanna show that plot. Profile low, I do not wanna show that plot. Value area high, make sure all three of these are checked again. If you wanna change the color, you can change the color of it. I'm just gonna leave it as default. And again, value area low, make sure all three of these are checked. Then we wanna scroll down here to where it says globals. Click on that, and I wanna change the point of control down here, just make it yellow. Now, if we want the profile to be a different color, we can click right here. You can either pick one of these pre-populated colors, 
or in, for this case, I'll just click green. Or you can, you know, if you click on this, click more, you can pick a color out of there. I'm just gonna click green just to show you guys that it changes color. Boom, there we go, we have our profiles. Now, now that I'm looking at the profile, I realized I forgot to change something. All right, we're gonna come back over here to the wheel, and we're gonna come right back to where it says POC under the plots. All right, the width, I wanna put this at five. You may say, Mike, that's, that's awful, awful wide. You're absolutely right, it is. But things that are significant to me on the profile, I wanna be able to see. The POC is one of the most important parts of the profile that I need to know where it is because it provides great target areas for me. You guys will see me talk about this a lot during the live stream. So do yourself a favor, regardless of what color you make your profiles, make sure that you, you have the POC where it's easily, easily seen. Now, I don't like the color of this profile, so I am gonna go back and change it. Oops, I don't know why I put it at green, but I'm just gonna go right back to maybe the default color, let's see. Instead of green, I'm gonna pick this color up here, click there, click apply, boom. All right, I got this set on the 30 minute time period. Now, one of the things we should do at this point, come over here to styles, and we wanna click save style. Now, I already have VP here for volume profile. Click the little box right here, then click save. Do I, yes, all right. Now, why this is important is, <clears throat> once we've had it on here, let's say we go to studies and we remove all studies and we're like, dang it, I didn't mean to remove my volume profile charts. Or maybe you're setting up a lot of different charts on a particular screen. Maybe you have, you know, maybe you change this over here and now we have four different charts that we're gonna look at and you wanna set up volume profiles on all of them. Well, this is gonna make it very easy. We come right back over here to styles and I'm just gonna click on load, VP, boom, the volume profile settings that we already laid out are already set up on our charts. Now there's one more thing that you wanna pay attention to. If you wanna see extended hours and all that fun stuff, which I personally do, I wanna see the Globex session and everything, <clears throat> then what we wanna do is we wanna come over here and we wanna look at, uh, go to style, go to settings, and if we come over here to futures, because I'm setting this up on a futures chart, we wanna make sure that show extended trading hours is checked. We wanna make sure that that is checked. I do not want it highlighted, and I'll show you what happens when you highlight it. I don't like my charts to be, I don't, I don't wanna see that mess, all right? So I, I leave that unchecked and just show, show extended trading hours, and if you're trading you know, equities or Forex, you're probably gonna to wanna to have this box checked as well. And it's that simple. Now you know how to set up the profiles, the volume profile on your thinkorswim charts. Now, if you guys can do me a favor, hit the like button down below, show support for the channel. It's free, it's easy. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Until next time, good luck and good trade.